In this video right here, I talked a little bit about the different things you can do with all of this time that you may have now that many of you may be stuck at home. And I decided to take one of my own tips and do some inventory today. So if you would like to see what that process looks like, stay tuned. Won't nobody love you the way they should Won't nobody check up on you, make sure you're good Won't nobody check those body tendons by your neck Hey everyone, my name is Becky Park and I am a part-time reseller on Poshmark, eBay, and Mercari. And today I did something that I have literally not done since I started reselling. And that is I went through every single item in my inventory, stuff that's like in my bins. And I made sure that all of the stuff that was in there was where it was supposed to be. And I made sure that all of that stuff was listed on Poshmark. Poshmark is my first go-to place where I need to list everything. And then from there, I cross list over to eBay and Mercari. So I went through every single item in every single bin. And it really started because I had sold a two-piece bundle over the weekend and I am not able to locate one of the tops. I went through every single item, still not able to locate one of the tops. So I'm gonna call my student who does some photography for me and ask if it's at her place because I do think that the item is something that she photographed for me. So that's my last resort. Otherwise, I'm gonna reach out to the buyer and do some problem solving. But that being said, I wanted to show you what I did as far as my inventory process. And I will also end the video with a haul of the stuff that I found that either wasn't listed or needs to be relisted for various reasons. So one of the things I talked about in my video of things you can do right now, even though we're in the midst of a pandemic, from home to grow your reselling business is to do inventory. And for me, what that means is going through everything in my bins, checking it against my spreadsheet and making sure that everything is accounted for. And then I think that there will be some yeah, bins. Yeah. You want to see? Yeah. But I think you'll find that there are some items in your bins that you thought you had listed, but maybe they aren't. Or you'll notice like, oh, I actually like have room for some more numbers in some of the bins. So what I do is I have 25 items in each bin and I think I'll just go one bin at a time. So first I'm going to check yeah. everything. Good job. My son just did all his numbers. <laughs> so the first thing I'm going to do and, 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 and all your cookies. Do you want me to get your letters out now? Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna check each bin first just to make sure that each item is in my spreadsheet And then I'm gonna check each item in my Poshmark closet and just make sure it's there as well Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I have written down all the letters represented in this first bin And then I'm gonna pull out the bin and as I see that I have that number item I'll just cross out that number so any number at the end of all of this that is not crossed out I know that I can make a Ziploc bag for that number. I'm also, like I said, going to check everything against what's in my spreadsheet. And if the number doesn't match up or yeah, I don't know. Like, I'll just be able to see if what I have in my bins is what I'm saying I have on my spreadsheet. I went from side to side to tell my trouble come alive. I can't wait the sun to shine and leave the sails in full of my own tide, yeah. So you can see that everything is accounted for in this bin. Let me see. <laughs> That's Levi doing work. So you can see everything in this first bin is accounted for. It's in my spreadsheet correctly and oh my gosh, my son. <laughs> so one discrepancy I have found so far is that in my number four bag is this polka dot Lauren Ralph Lauren extra large shirt. But on my spreadsheet, it says it is this Levi Strauss long sleeve denim shirt. 2XL, which I know I sold actually a while ago. So I'm gonna go ahead and change that in my spreadsheet right now so that it accurately reflects what is actually in this bag because if and when this sells, I'll have such a hard time knowing where it is. And actually what I'm gonna do right now, I'm gonna see if this is actually even listed in my Poshmark closet. I kind of feel like it's not. And I think something happened where things got mixed up. So let's check that out really quick. I've opened up my Poshmark app and I am looking at my closet and searching by brands and I'm typing in the 
name of this brand, which is Lauren by Ralph Lauren, and I'm looking to see what items I have in my closet by this brand, and I notice that this has supposedly already sold. So let's see what's going on. All right, so I think we figured it out. I think what happened is I sold this shirt a long time ago, but I couldn't find it. And so I probably reached out to the buyer, asked if I could send them something else instead. But this is still in my inventory. So I'm gonna go ahead and relist it using List Perfectly. I'm wondering if you can relist sold items. I hope you can, but I'm gonna try that. And I just made a note for myself here. This is gonna be my list of things that I need to relist. And that is definitely on it. So now now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this out of the bag for number four so that I know I can use number four for something else. And I'm gonna go ahead and delete it here on my spreadsheet as well. So this is an example of where I found something in the wrong bin. So this is number 87, but it was in the 51 to 75 bin. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put that in the right bin. Sometimes I let my kids help out by like putting stuff into bins and stuff, or honestly, sometimes I just put stuff in the wrong bin because I am very scatterbrained. So this helps me find those kinds of mistakes too to save myself some, you know, trouble later on. I just found a shirt that I have in my inventory system, but I don't have it listed. So it's this Ink International Concepts. It looks like it's just like a shirt. I don't know, just like a ruched shirt or something. And it's in my spreadsheet. It's just not on Poshmark. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this out so that I know I need to photograph it. And I'll just like throw it in a pile over there. That's stuff that needs to get listed. I'll just throw it in a pile in this bag since it's already assigned a bag and I don't wanna like do double work and assign it a new number. And I'll just throw it in like this. Oh boy. And I started a new list for myself of things I need to list. So I just wrote number 70 because that is the number, like the inventory number, and I just put what it is. Okay, so I've gone through the whole bin, but you can see like 58, 68, 71, those are not accounted for. They're not in this bin. So I'm gonna look those up on my spreadsheet and see what's going on. Maybe I just don't have bags for those. And if that's the case and I can make bags, I have just like a box of bags here. We just, I just use whatever we have in the house. These are I think from Walmart. Um, so let's see, 58 is supposed to be this Chico's size two taupe khakis. That I think is long gone. So I can make a new bag for 58. Um, for 68, it is this Lucy purple and white striped long sleeve shirt that is long gone as well. And then 71 page flare jean size 28, those are long gone as well. So those are three more bags that I can make, which is great because I have stuff that still needs to get inventoried, but I had run out of bags. So I'm going to go ahead and make those really quick. organized here this is like one of those large uh flat rate boxes from priority mail or from usps and i have all of my ziploc bags that can use new inventory in here so i've added the three that i realized you know i never had bags for and then i just have my ziploc bags and my permanent marker in here so everything is in one spot when i need it so this is quite the mystery i have a 148 with this john deere sweater in it as well as this 148 with something else. I don't know what these are. So we need to get down to the bottom of this. I have 148 as being the John Deere sweatshirt. So we're gonna figure this out. These are a pair of seven for all mankind skinny jeans for men. And they were nowhere on my spreadsheet. So I just went ahead and I didn't have anything in the 146 bag so i am making a bag or actually i just changed this bag from 148 to 146 and this pair of pants is now going to live in that bag these i have found are also not listed so i'm going to add it to that pile right there of stuff to list i've heard the complaint from a few people that when you try to search for a specific brand within your closet and you know you have items from that brand sometimes it just won't show up. And so what I do in that instance, as you can see here, is instead I will search by the category. So I'm looking for a skirt by Gloria Sachs because I know I have it listed. And because when I typed in Gloria Sachs into the brand, 
it wasn't showing up. I had to find it this way. So now you see that there was a ton of stuff that just, wow, like stuff that should have been listed, stuff that was never listed, but somehow ended up in the bins, stuff that maybe like somehow had sold at some point and maybe I like couldn't find them when the package needed to go out. So I sent something else in its place. I don't know, lots of different things that had happened, but I'm gonna do a quick haul for you of all the stuff that I should have had in my Poshmark closet all this time, but it hasn't been. Um, before I do that, if you have been enjoying the video this far, make sure that you hit that like button. And if you are new to my channel, I would love it if you would consider subscribing because on my channel, I have videos like this where I am offering tips and just showing my journey as a part-time reseller. And then I also do like what sold videos, haul videos when I have stuff to haul, stuff like that. So let's get into what kind of stuff I found and I will let you know if it was never listed, if it needs to be relisted for whatever reason. Here we go. Okay, the first thing, I believe this is by Exhilaration, which is, nope, I'm a liar. This is by Ink International Concepts. It's a size medium and it is this maroon, just kind of like ruffle shirt. I don't know what you would call that. There's just like yeah, nothing super special. This probably is gonna go right in my four for $25 sale. Sorry, there's like fuzz on it. Yeah, this is probably gonna go right in my four for $25 sale just because this brand is definitely not one that a lot of people are looking for and it's pretty basic. That I will probably list for $18, but like I said, I will put it in my four for $25 sale so people can bundle it with three other items and get those four items for $25. That one was never listed. I don't know how it ended up in my bins, but it was never listed. This is the one that is Exhilaration by Target. And it is this purple kind of like peasant blouse. It's got kind of a boho vibe. The sleeves are a little bit wider. You know, they have kind of like that flared or bell sleeve effect. And there's like this really pretty um, kind of like crochet detail on the shoulders. This is also a size medium. And I think that this ended up in my bins and never listed because I actually had another shirt by Exhilaration as well that was really similar to this that sold already. And I think that when I went to do inventory, I thought that this was that shirt. And I think that when I initially put this in a bag and assigned it a number, I thought that this was that shirt that had already sold, not realizing that I had two that were very similar. So I think that that's how this ended up in my bins without being sold. And both of those pieces that you've seen thus far, I did not buy, someone gave them to me. The ink shirt came from someone at church. This I believe came, the exhilaration shirt came from a former student. Okay, and then there were these series of like three shirts by Abercrombie Kids. This one is a size extra large, which is like a 16. And sorry, there's like little fuzzies on some of these, which also could be kind of like an extra small men's. But this, um, I have three polos that are like all really similar, similar sizes. And I actually had a huge stack of like, like um, 10 shirts maybe. I don't even remember where they came from. I'm fairly certain someone gave them to me. I just had all of these boys polos from Abercrombie and Fitch and I found like three of them that you know hadn't sold yet but for whatever reason they were in my inventory but not on Poshmark and then again I think like maybe it was this one but I had two that were either identical or super similar and I think that's why one of them got put in the bins without being put on Poshmark because I thought I had already put it on Poshmark because I had put something similar to it on Poshmark. Does that even make sense? I don't know. So that's what happened there. I'm not gonna take this one out, but this is the same thing. This is a size large and it's a gray polo by Abercrombie Kids. This, let's see what this is. It's a pair of jeans. These are a pair of Levi 514s in a size 28 by 30. These were never listed. <laughs> they just ended up in the bins somehow in my inventory bins without being listed. They're in great shape. Part of me thinks that they were my brothers. And I think that the reason these never got listed is because again, I think my brother gave me like a bunch of stuff at one time, including other jeans that were similar to this and of the same size. And so when I had listed those, I think maybe I went ahead and inventoried these thinking that they were those jeans. 
I don't know, but they never sold. I don't understand why they ended up in my bins without being put on Poshmark first, but that's what happened there. This is another pair of jeans, and let's see what the story behind these are. This is a pair of Express jeans, and I'm so irritated right now because what happened was, okay, well, first of all, let me tell you about the jeans. So these are um, like the Tough Denim by Express. They're size 31 by 30. They're a slim jean, and this is what they look like. So I got two pairs of these jeans that were identical and they actually came from the theater director at my school when my students were doing a garage sale to raise money for this conference that we're trying to go to this summer. By the way, if you were wondering about that conference, we still don't know what they are planning to do. No one knows what's going on right now. I mean, it's almost ridiculous to even think that you can plan things out at this point for the next like week or a month or two months because nobody knows what's gonna happen with all of this stuff going on. So I don't know if that national conference that we've been working so hard to raise so much money for, I don't know if it's happening or not. But anyway, we did a garage sale at the beginning of the year to raise money for it. And so my theater director donated two pairs of these jeans, identical jeans. And I listed them as multi-quantity, both on Poshmark and eBay. And I sold one on Poshmark like pretty early on. And then I sold one on eBay. And when I sold it on eBay, I could not find this pair of jeans. And I don't understand why, because I think that they were where they said they were supposed to be. Like, I don't really understand what happened there, but I remember I had to cancel the transaction. It was a ding on my eBay account. And then I found them today, so. There's that, that's pretty cool. Um, next up, I was super irritated to see these as well. <laughs> these never got listed and I think that they're great pants. They are a like maroon pair of men's seven for all mankind jeans and they are the straight jean in a size 33. These were given to me for free by one of my friends at church. He gave me like three garbage bags filled with clothes and all kinds of stuff maybe a year ago and I have been selling off his clothes very well I mean it's amazing the kind of stuff that he was giving me and these just somehow never got listed I think what happened was they had a pretty big stain on them and my husband got the stain out but I think I just didn't list it and then I just put it in my inventory system for whatever reason without listing it so that I am pretty excited to take pictures of and get listed because this could probably sell for a decent amount of money I'd probably list those around like 28 to 34 dollars also some of these items for example like the express jeans I'm gonna see if list perfectly will allow me to cross list from a sold listing I don't know if that's doable let me know but I know that I already have a sold listing on Poshmark of these Express jeans. And on eBay, it's really easy. Even if you've sold the item, you can sell similar to that item. But on Poshmark, you can't really do that. So I don't really want to sit there and create a new listing from scratch. So I'm hoping that I can just use that sold listing for this and anything else that may have sold already. Let's see what else we have in here. Okay. Oh, this I was pretty upset about too. So this is a pair of men's theory pants. You know, just theory, work pants, sitting in my bins, not on my Poshmark closet, you know, whatever. <laughs> They're in great condition. They're more of like a skinny pant, perfect for the office. I could probably list these in the 30s or 40s even, and I would probably end up making at least like low 30s, I would say on those, maybe high 20s, but I can't make money on them if they're not in my Poshmark closet. And these, I believe, are another pair of Theory pants. These are brown, and these are also not in my Poshmark closet. And these, it's kind of harder to see that it's Theory, but it says it really faint. Do you see it right there? Like along the, along the waistline? It's kind of weird. Um, these are a size 31. The blue ones were a size 30. These are 100% wool. They're great. They're like suit pants almost. And like I said, they're brown. That's what they look like. And again, just money sitting in my bins, <laughs> not making me any money because they're not listed anywhere. So I'm gonna get on that 
Peronto. I would love to hear if you guys have been doing inventory and if you have found anything that you're just like, what? Why isn't that in my closet right now? Like, what am I doing with my life? So I would love to hear those stories because then it would make me feel a lot better about the fact that I have all this stuff sitting around. <laughs> so would you do that for me just to make me feel better about myself? Okay, I think I just have a couple more things in here. This is not super exciting. This is a pair of, I wanna say J. Crew Factory khakis. A lot of men's pieces. Yeah, this is J. Crew Factory, size 32 by 30. I think that these belong to my husband and they're not in amazing shape. So these I wouldn't list for very much. I'll show you why I say they're not in the best shape. On the back, and I feel like this happens to my husband's pants all the time. Like right where the butt is, there's like those two little holes or like the beginnings of a hole. And I think it's because of his um, like wallet rubbing up against it, stuff like that. I will tell you actually, like some of the first sales I ever made on Poshmark were pants like these, pants that just were not in the best condition, like jeans that had a lot of heel drag, um, pants with like pockets in the butt. But a lot of people would buy that stuff because one, obviously I'm not selling it for too much. And two, like they were like, I just need pants like they can be pretty beat up because i'm using it for blank um and you would be surprised even for like khakis and stuff people would still buy them and this is also the kind of stuff that i would put out on like i don't know like 2.99 auction or something on ebay i'm not expecting a lot from these but also i don't mind listing it especially now because i can't source this is the last thing and this is another abercrombie kids extra large polo this is in i want to say like a super dark navy color so that is everything that i found from my own inventory bins it's kind of like i went sourcing except none of this stuff was that exciting with the exception of maybe the theory pants but it's stuff that i can list it's stuff that will definitely bring me some money once it sells and I'm totally okay with that. So I just did the math of how much I think I can make gross profit off of all the stuff that I showed you. And I think with me being super conservative, so like with the cheaper stuff saying that I'm gonna make like $5 off of it or you know, whatever, I think I could potentially make $165 off of the stuff that I showed you. So $165 worth of stuff just sitting in my bins, hanging out, taking up space, not anymore like i'm gonna get this stuff listed asap so like i said this was my very first time doing inventory since i started reselling i remember at one point maybe like a year in i started going through my bins but i never got through all of them but this was my first time like actually going through every single bin touching every single bag and checking it against my spreadsheet and then the next thing that i did was i also checked everything against what i had in my poshmark closet that's how i found that there was some stuff that you know wasn't even listed because I do share my closet myself at least once a day. I do have a student who shares it every evening as well, but it's good I think to share your closet yourself at least once so that you know what's in there. And I would come across some items, for example, those like maroon seven for all mankind jeans that I was like, I don't remember seeing these in my Poshmark closet ever. And that was kind of what prompted me to go through my closet and check, is this even listed? And when I realized it wasn't, that's when I pulled it. I also realized from doing this inventory check that there were some bags that just were missing from bins. So maybe in bin 26 through 50, I didn't have like the number 47 bag. And so I was able to make a bag for that missing number. And now I'm able to fit more stuff into those bins and what had been there previously. So that way I have less stuff sitting on the floor and I have more stuff in the actual bins organized, ready for me to pull. I know that I've shared in past videos, just some struggles that I've had with people buying stuff and me not being able to find those items. And so I'm hoping that this is going to prevent that from happening from now on because I I made a concerted effort to like actually look through my stuff and see what I have and what I don't have. I also realized that one more thing I really need to do is I need to go through my entire Poshmark closet and check it against my spreadsheet because there might be stuff that's still listed that I don't actually have in my possession anymore. So that is definitely going to happen in the near future as well. I would be really curious to hear if you've done inventory, what your system looks like, just because, like I said, this was my first time. 
I feel like it was pretty efficient. I was able to do all of that in probably like an hour and a half. It wasn't a straight shot just because of my kids and because I got pulled to like do dinner and different things like that. But I think altogether it was probably an hour and a half, which I don't think is too bad. And that's with over 500 items in my bins. I do have clothes that are hanging in another closet that I probably need to go through, but for the most part, I'm pretty confident that those pieces are in my Poshmark closet because otherwise they wouldn't be hanging there. But I probably will go through those things just to make sure. And I'm hoping that when I reach out to my student, she has the shirt that I'm looking for. If not, I will keep you posted. You'll hear about the whole saga in an upcoming What's Old video. But I wanted to end with letting you know about today's giveaway. There were a ton of comments on this one, so let's see who wins what was the prize again the prize was oh that's right 10 poly mailers ashley ogawa so ashley from hawaii said aloha i've just been working on my death pile which is mostly kids clothes that i've been putting off you were so right about bundling for people to buy no one wants to go out to buy new ashley congrats make sure that you dm me or send me an email my Instagram and email are always linked in the description below. And for today's giveaway, I am actually gonna give away a five pound mystery box. I am not promising anything amazing because I'm simply gonna be pulling from my own death pile because it's not like I'm gonna go sourcing, obviously, to find stuff for this mystery box, but hopefully it'll just be some stuff that will keep you going when you feel like you're running low on inventory. And all you have to do in order to be entered into the giveaway is leave a comment down below letting me know how you are passing the time right now. Maybe you've discovered a new hobby or maybe you're able to spend more time on a passion that you've not really been able to devote a lot of time to. I feel like I could use some fresh thoughts on you know what I can do with mine, although I feel like I am keeping myself really busy between my reselling business and starting school. I actually had my first Zoom meeting with a bunch of students from one of my classes and that was so wonderful to see them and hear their voices and all that kind of stuff. So I'm doing some more Zoom meetings tomorrow with them. And obviously just like being at home with kids, there's not a lot of free time. Like they demand a lot of you and I'm totally okay with giving it to them because they're only going to be this young for so long. So I hope that you've been finding things to do at this time. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure that you tune in tomorrow to see who won today's giveaway. And if you enjoyed this video at all, don't forget to give it a like on your way out. Thank you guys so much and I will see you tomorrow. Bye! <laughs> And all you have to do in order to win that, and all you have to do in order to win letting me know what has been. It's, it's not always.